Now that we have your attention, I want to introduce you to the new show, Cooking for Under $20 with Dave. I have Tiffany with me here today, and like I said, cooking for 20. It's hard out here. Things are tight. Family you know, of four. Family of four, steak dinner, $20. You can't even get four value meals for $20, Tiffany. <laughs> no. And you don't need all that poison anyway. This is fresh food that we made. Um, this is episode one. Every week we're gonna feature something different for under $20. Um, I believe actually the total of this was $18. So um, this is eating pretty good for $18. Yes, it is. So uh, you guys stick around. We're gonna show you how we got to this point. All right, so here we go. We have the London broil, 928, kidney beans, about 75 cents or so, so we'll call that 10. Um, we have the white whole mushrooms, these were $2. Um, you can also use portobello's if you'd like, if that's your preference. And I think that's, I don't know, maybe 25, 50 cents more. Um, we have these rusted potatoes. And I think we got these for like 2.25, I believe. For a couple of them, yeah. Yeah. All right, they're sold by the pound, these particular ones. Um, a yellow onion and a clove of garlic, call that $2. Dollar for the stick of butter, a dollar for the avocado, which equals $18. Now, um, we have the spices and the olive oil, which for the purpose of our videos, we're gonna assume that you have them. These aren't like specialties herbs. These are things that most people are gonna have in their house. So with that being said, let's go. Okay, with this meal, we're gonna to have to start the potatoes first because we want everything to get done at the same time. Um, these potatoes are called smashed potatoes. Now, normally, these are made with like the little Dutch potatoes or like the organic, you know, like the purple ones, stuff like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but since we're cooking on a budget, we're using the cheaper potato. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm curious so, to find out. Here's what we do. We're okay. gonna cut it long ways. Because right. we want our skin to get crispy. We want a lot of surface going on the, uh, the pan when we um, boil them. Because first we boil them, then we're going to put them in the oven and finish them. Okay. Now, we want fairly large pieces, so we're only going to do one cut, mm -hmm. two cuts, mm -hmm. and that's it. All right, now we'll get these things in the water. It'll be boiling soon. Hey. All right, it's okay. <laughs> now, we're gonna just let that boil and we'll be back with that. Now, our potatoes have been boiling for about five minutes now, so we really need to start making the kidney beans because that's gonna take a minute and you know, the steak is gonna cook the fastest. Okay. Now, all we're gonna do here is just a, a quick dice, do a little bit of this. A quarter of the garlic, because we're going to use the other quarter with the meat at the end. Yeah, this quite a bit. Now, this is the part where if you're going to cry, this is, this is going to happen here. So what we're gonna do with all that is um, saute it with some olive oil. Okay. And uh, you know, when you saute, you, you don't wanna cook that hot because you don't wanna caramelize the stuff. We just wanna really soften it. So. Seems like a lot, no? Well, with this, like, I dumped out half of the juice of the kidney beans. Got it. So it's kind of like building like an oil sauce that's gonna go with the leftover sauce. Right on. All right, now this has already been heated up a little bit, so just right. put that in. All right, so we got our onions and garlic in here. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put a little cayenne pepper in there. Mmm, love cayenne. Yep. Yeah. And uh, some salt in. Now, if to make this even cheaper, you could just take your olive oil and use the onion powder and garlic powder instead of having this, but you know, this is where it's at. And we're still under 20, so 
if you can afford it, use use the fresh veg. And we're just gonna let this simmer for a little while, and we're going to uh, move on to the potatoes. So we've taken our potatoes off. Mm -hmm. Now that we've got our uh, onion over there simmering for the beans. Mm -hmm. Now what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna pull these out and put them skin side down. Skin side down. Yeah, and I've already uh, splashed mm -hmm. a little olive oil here on the pan. It's just skin, skin side down, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm, still really together. All right, now we gotta smash them since it's smashed potatoes. All right. So we're just gonna take this and push it straight down. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that our potatoes are smashed, we got to season them. Now I've taken about half, a little bit of half a stick here, and I just want to get all these, get these buttered up, mm -hmm. spread this evenly. Okay, that's just the butter. Now we're going to hit it with garlic powder. Mm. Plenty of it too. Mm. And salt. Little cayenne, very little. It almost looks like paprika. Yeah. Way now, better. We're gonna um, now put these in the oven. I got the 400 degrees. And we're gonna leave these in here about 15, 20 minutes. But before we take them out, we're also gonna turn the broil on just to make sure the tops get crispy too. Cause the bottom is gonna get nice and crispy with the oil on the bottom of the pan there and the skins. So. Yeah, we'll check back on those soon. Let's get back to these beans. Now, the kidney beans, we drained half of the juice out of it. Yep, you got it all out. Now, we're gonna cook this pretty hot for a second because we want a lot of the, uh, the rest of the juice to kind of mix with the garlic and uh, olive oil and the other spices we put in. And uh, now, we also don't want this to get done too soon either. So we're gonna bring this to a simmer and once it comes to a simmer, we're gonna turn it down to about two and just leave it on standby until everything is done. Look at that. Great. I wish you guys could smell in there. It smells amazing. So next we're gonna do, get the meat ready to cook. So let's do that. We're actually, before we start the meat, we gotta get these mushrooms on. Now we're gonna cook these about on medium heat. It's on six on this. Now, as they cook, I'm going to chop them up for time purposes. All right, we have everything else going, so now it's time to make the meat. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, being that this is an under $20 show, this is a thinner piece of meat. So, when I cook it, it's going to be a little different than I normally would. But I'm going to go ahead and season it a little bit of the cayenne. Heavy with the garlic, never too much garlic. Mm. salt and the onion powder mm -hmm. now if you look over there video I got a, a skillet that has some olive oil in there and it's getting real hot so when you make this you want it to be hot that's the most important thing here I go here we go ready and like I said if I had a normal fatter cut I would go around and, and cook the sides first so this is two things for that so let's just let this cook this is going to go for a couple of minutes, and then we'll flip it. Now look at that. Nice and crisp. Now, with a, a steak this thin, you don't want to go too long because this is also, uh, the way we're making this is also going to be a two-step cook. So right now, we're... Okay, so as you can see, nice and rare on the inside. Nice and charred on the outside. Now, before we cook this meat, let's go back and check on our other things real fast. 
Now we've already capped this, so this is fine. This is good to go. Now what I do have is a, uh, this is just some Italian seasoning mixed with butter. And uh, we're gonna take this and uh, top our potatoes. Now, pull these bad boys. I'm just gonna go right here. This is gonna shut me on. Now, ideally, you'd want to use rosemary. Now, because of the budget of the show, we're just using Italian seasoning that most people have at their house. Mix with some butter there. We're just gonna give it like a little drizzle here. And now, when we put this back in the oven, we're gonna broil this on low while we cook our meat. And then we're almost there, guys. Dinner is almost done. Put that in there. Broil low, start. Okay, we've been, been about been about a minute or two, almost two minutes. I'm gonna hit the last quarter of that clove of garlic in there. And watch out for a second. Put the meat in here, put all that blood in there. Now we're gonna turn the temperature down. Now all we're doing right here oh, is uh, cooking the meat just a slightly bit more and let me get some of that flavor on it, some of that garlic. And we're not, we don't want to overcook it too much. This is just a little toss at the end. I'm going to hit it with a little extra salt. And then I cut it off. That's it. Now, this is it. Now, we're gonna take everything off and assemble these plates. And uh, we'll see, see you in a second. Well, here we go, Tiffany. Uh, wow. The finished product. And it looks so good. It smells amazing. All right, well, here we go. We have our place fully done. Mm -hmm. um, everything looks great. It smells amazing in here. So and there's so much garlic in this recipe and the onions, everything's fresh. I'll take a little sample here. Oh, that crunch. Yeah, you hear that crunch? Yes. That's really good. The potatoes aren't very dry at all. Not soggy though. Mm -hmm. Now this is like part of the main event. Um, well. Oh, what are, you, what are you saying about you? Oh, the potatoes? Potato, yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. Now the kidney beans. All that garlic and onion. Mm -hmm. This is a health city. Look at all that garlic and uh, onion in there, baby. Oh, you know, wow. it's so mild, right? It's like sweet. It's not. The onion really make it sweet. Mm -hmm. well, I hate a crunchy onion. No. You really like perfectly caramelized. But not too sweet. Yeah. It's a nice city. It, it bounces beans. well with the beans. Mm -hmm. Really good. Using um, that half a can, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, the meat. How nice and firm these. Meat and mushroom. Again, mm. I mean, this is the one that we're on. Yeah. No, it's not going to be as tender as the filet mignon mm. or as a New York strip. But even here. But this piece of meat for four people was $9. Mm -hmm. I mean, a Big Mac value meal is $9. So is this. Get some of that fresh avocado. It's really good. Um, you know, I hope that you guys try this. You save some money, eat healthy. Cause this, it's rough out here. I know. I'm about to try down. Yeah. 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 It's 
Great. So um, this was all great, and I will see you guys on the next one. Let me know in the comments um, what you think. Bye.